It's Exhibition Basketball here on ESPN. The 80s West All-Stars come in with a buzzsaw defense that slices and dices opponents. They know how to shut down an offense. They will be squaring off versus the 80s East All-Stars who come in with a squad that is loaded with offensive talent. They make you guard every player on the floor at all times. So let's send it over to Bob Steele and Rod West who are in Springfield. Hello and get ready for some basketball here at the Legends Arena in Springfield. I'm Bob Steele along with Rod West. Glad to have you with us. Take a look at the starting lineups. What do you like out there, Rod? James Worthy has a nice little inside shot. I'm going to be watching him to see if he's able to take advantage of it out there on the floor. We'll see how things pan out, Rod. Let's get ready for the player introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention courtside for the player introductions for the historical 80s East team. At center, Moses Malone. At forward, Kevin McHale. At guard, Michael Jordan. Also at guard, Isaiah Thomas. Also at forward, Larry Bird. And now it's time to start it up for your historical 80s West team. At center, from Houston, 7 feet Houston, number 34, a team of At forward, from Utah, 6 foot 10, number 24, Tom Campbell. Another forward position from North Carolina, six foot nine, number 42, James Bradley. At guard from Houston, six foot seven, number 22, Brian Castle. At the other guard position. Out of Michigan State, six foot nine, number 32, Magic Johnson. Chambers has to score in that situation. When you're that much better than the defender that's guarding you, you have to take advantage. Caught by Malone. Get knocked away. Malone gets it right back after the block. Malone capitalizes on the second chance opportunity. It's always tougher to hit a jumper while you're moving. He shows perfect concentration and control and knocks it down. Chambers inbounds the ball. Ball, ball, ball. 13 double. Go inside. Elijah inside, inside. is asking for it in the post. Drexler with an ill advised step on the line, and he's whistled out of bounds. Pick him up. Jordan passes it. Launches from beyond the arc. Rips cord. Bird didn't have to rush that three because no one was him. near him. He just zoned in and let it fly. Just over four minutes here in the first quarter. Passes it. For the left block. Puts too much on it. Olajuwon is only an average shooter in the best of conditions. And with the defender all over him, that certainly wasn't the best condition. Now in the paint. Chambers unloads from 10 feet out. Nails it. Man, he is just in his element inside. What a player. Passes. Bird lets it go from the wing. Can't answer back. Bird is playing the percentages there. He generally makes that shot, but not that possession. Passes it. Deflected. 
and it's pulled in by Malone. You've got to love the rejection right there. That's how you play the game. Makes this old coach proud. McHale makes the pass. The J was missed by Jordan. Just Where's over three minutes here in the first quarter. On, Jordan has a first-rate mid-range game. Even though he missed that one, he has to keep taking that shot. Johnson has the ball. Johnson is called for charging. That's his first foul of the game. Tried to get all fancy-schmancy with that crossover, but the D played him straight up and drew the foul. That's heads-up defense, Bobby. Just under three minutes here in the first quarter. Grabbed by Bird. The three ball was dropped in by Bird. Larry Bird. Chambers with the inbound. Passes. Chambers elevates. Watches the lay-in. Nice rebound by the 21-year man out of Petersburg High School. Moses Malone goes with the fadeaway. Tickles the twine. Pretty good from there, Bobby. Great release. Johnson passes. Shoots. Answers right back. Now, that's a guy that can light it up from out there. You have got to watch out for him. Just over two minutes here in the first quarter. Passes it. Takes a turnaround, Jay. Can't drop down his shot. He's almost a guaranteed deuce from that range, but the D kept a little bit closer than his shadow. He's going away empty-handed. Drexler is hacked and will go to the line for a couple. Easy call right there. He was mugged. He gets the first of two. He gets them both. McHale throws it in. Passes. Bird now has it. The jumper was buried by Bird. Bird went inside and nobody was home. You can't leave the inside that open. What's the pick? Johnson passes it. Open two, open two. Power kid. Johnson gets airborne. Down it goes. Johnson. Finger roll. Look at the replay right here, Bobby, and watch how he loses the defense. Loses the D? He posterized the D. That was a fantastic move. You're right. All he needs to do is go to that crossover for his score. It's him. as simple as that. Pick him up. Let's go, D. Let's go. Launches from beyond the arc. Now he gets the front rim. He tried too hard on that one, and he picked up he the foul. You don't need to knock it out of the arena, Bob. Low post shot was blown by Malone. He can't get the first. He sinks the second. Elijah Wan inbounds the ball. Ball, ball, ball. 54 seconds here in the first quarter. Gets airborne. Goes last in the lane. That's it. That's it. Launches from beyond the arc, hands it and gets his 11th point of the game. Bird is in control of this game, and the way he's playing it is no surprise. He is really putting on a show. Flair, flair. Back down, back down. Worthy shoots from 13 feet out, banks it in. Boy, that's a tough spot to be in against a shooter of his caliber. You've got to bring your all if you want to shut him down. Jordan dishes it off. Takes a quick shot. The defensive rebound by Elijah Wan. Risky, risky move right there, but it's an old coach talking. He was out of position to make that block, and the reach around like that can easily lapse into a foul. But the block is clean. Off the back rim and in by Johnson. Passes. Picked off. 
There's the horn, and at the end of one, it's 16 to 14. Bird with the inbound. Passes it. Jordan goes with the fadeaway. Gets back iron and out. You cannot beat that kind of hands-on, in-your-face coverage. And it's so constant, too. That's a good example of how you play defense. They tie this one up on the bucket by Drexler. Nice job to get back into this game. It was slipping away from them for just a bit, but now they're right back into it. Thomas passes the ball. Bird shoots. Can't connect. Bird was playing the percentages there. He generally makes that shot, but not that possession. Nice laying off the glass by Chambers. Get him! Malone uses the leaner inside. Can't think the well-defended shot. Way to clean the offensive class right there, Bob. Johnson with the rock. Johnson brings it up. He has four points from the paint. He's running, but there's two back. Moses Malone takes Moses off. Malone. Gets the lay-in. Elijah Wan throws it in. Pick him up. Passes. Drexler takes a turnaround. Jay Johnson Drexler. is credited the assist. That's his fifth. Drexler gets the bucket, but he's the beneficiary of one heck of an assist right here. That's what a good teammate does. He gets you the ball right in the spot where you're most comfortable. And after that, it's up to you to knock it down. And that's what he does right here. I got it. Him up. The Launches from beyond the arc. Drops in the well-defended shot. Isaiah One of the Thomas. things he's known for around the league is three-point shooting. And you can see why right there. Great shot. Pick coming. Double down. Johnson makes the pass. Swatted away. And it's loose inside. Bob, you can be as big as an oak tree on defense and still miss the shot block if you're not in position. He kept himself in front of the basket and gave that shot no chance at all. Thomas picks up his fifth point of the quarter. He's got five in the game. Blue. Launches from beyond the arc. Can't drop in the lightly contested shot. Johnson took the right shot. He didn't hit it, but you have to believe he's going to make that shot a lot more, and he's going to miss it. Fires from 14. Gets it to fall. He's money from there. He has amazing touch from there, Bob. Shooting like that is almost a lost art. Well, quality outside shooting is more important with the rule changes allowing his own defense. It's a bonus to have a guy who can keep the defense honest and open up things down low. Thomas works it up court. He's one out of his last two from the arc. He's running, but there's two back. By Drexler, and now hit double figures. Bird inbounds the ball. I got it. Fired up to Watch the pick. Up. Passes it. Caught by Jordan. Releases. Puts nice too much on it. it nice court sense, Bobby. He knew exactly where to be to yank that one down. Johnson has the rock. He's shooting 75% from the floor. Johnson makes a beautiful dip, and he's got seven assists. Johnson keeps finding the open man, and that's the kind of teamwork they need to stay in this game. Thomas passes. It's loose! And he's West Ball. Worthy goes with the fadeaway. Gets back iron and out. The defense keeps him at bay, but he's a dynamite shooter from mid-range, Bob. I wonder how long they can hold him off. Ron, you have to explain to me how that happened on the replay. Great shot over a bigger defender right here. Yeah, shooting over a taller guy isn't impossible, but it's more difficult. Chambers with the inbound. Johnson has it. He's three of four from the floor. Get up. Passes it. Quick, quick. Get up. Worthy 
pops it up from 19 feet. Gets the bucket and the foul. He'll go to the line for one more. I like how he knew he was going to draw the foul, so he angles his body just enough to get the shot off. Chambers will come off the floor. Thomas with the bucket here. He can get his 10th point of the game. Launches from beyond the arc. Hands it and gets his 11th point of the quarter. He has a total of 11. Thomas is doing everything he can to keep his team in the game, Bob. You've got to love it when the player digs down deep and carries the load like this. The tray was missed by Drexler. Mikhail passes it. Drexler comes away empty, but he was played pretty well on that. I'm not surprised he missed it. Count that last jumper by Thomas. Can you believe they fouled him all the way out there, Bob? That's a coach's worst nightmare. Spectacular shot here, Rod. Getting fouled from downtown and still hitting. No doubt, Bob. This play shows an enormous amount of concentration and control. Give him credit. That's a nice play. He completes the four-point play. Worthy will head to the bench. Hello. We'll leave the floor. Elijah Wan throws it in. Johnson oh, oh, oh. brings it up. He has four points Target. from the paint. Passes. They work it in. Passes outside. Pick him up. Johnson has it. Seven on the shot clock. Launches from beyond the arc. Gets the front rim. Thomas hurls it from about three-quarter court. Can't get the buzzer beater. We've reached halftime with the score 35 to 28. Well, let's send it to Clark in the studio for a little halftime recap. Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. Here's a quick breakdown of the numbers from the first half. The 80s East All-Stars have been sharp shooting tonight. They're shooting a higher percentage on their three-pointers, and that's been one of the major reasons they're winning. Moses Malone in the first half has a total of seven points and six rebounds. A clear choice for our Sega Sports hot at the half player. That will do it for now. Make sure to tune in to the ESPN postgame show at the conclusion of the game. We'll send you back to Bob and Rod. Substitution for 80s West. Bird inbounds the ball. Pass low post. Bird gets aggressive. Buries his 13th point of the game. Bird had some great concentration, Bob. Contact can throw off a shot attempt, but not that time. That's why you don't get it. The high percentage shot you always take. Johnson dishes it off. Gets stopped by Jordan. It's stolen. Passes it. You just saw a really smart play on defense, Bobby. You watch for that crossover dribble, and then you get in there for the steal. That is textbook basketball. Thomas buries the three-pointer. He's had five of those fall for him tonight. Grab by Drexler. Seven on the shot clock. Bounce pass. Johnson fires. Doesn't kind of get the tough shot. Miss Tiffin by Elijah Wan. Thomas can pick up his 20th point this trip down. Pass to the paint. Denies it. And it's loose inside. Man, his timing is just dead bang perfect on shots like that. Great skill. Passes. Johnson is the kind of player that drives an offense. He can influence the game with his passing skills as much as with his shooting skills. Thomas with a three-pointer here. He'll have a total of six from beyond the arc. Jumps up. It's blocked. Bobby, he has such great anticipation. He's easily one of the best shot blockers in the league. Well, definitely, Rod. He lets their perimeter defenders take more risk when they know they have a big-time shot blocker backing them up like that. Johnson passes the ball. Intercepted. I hate to say it, but I'm going to. That was a limp pass. If you want to get the outside pass beyond your defenders, you've got to put more zip on the ball. They did everything right but make the delivery, Bobby. Chambers with the inbound. Johnson is at the controls. He's shooting 60% from the floor. In low. Kicks it out. Now by Drexler. 
The three-pointer was no good by Drexler. Rebounded by Malone. Credit to Dion stopping that three-pointer. Made him all to his shot just enough to miss. Thomas works it up court. He's five of seven from the arc. Johnson has the rock. He's three of five from the floor. Passes. Olajuwon goes up. Johnson down with one hand. Olajuwon made his mind up early that he was going with the flush. Thomas heads up court. He has 15 points from the arc. Now in the paint. Knocked off course. And it's hauled in by Olajuwon. Good timing there. He read the shot perfectly to whack it away. Johnson makes the pass. Oh, oh, right that down for me. Replay. Chambers is fearless, Bob. He knew he was going to get banged. He knew he might not get the call. He did not care. That's what it takes to go inside and finish strong in the NBA. Malone throws it in. Passes it. I got it. Thomas gets aggressive. I think gets the bucket and a seventh point this quarter. He's got 22 total. That's a big bucket. And better yet, it puts some serious space between these two teams. You want to hold that lead steady or open it up if you can. Elijah Wan has the ball. Takes a wide open shot. Doesn't get it all the way there. They got a break on that one, Bob. That shot's going to fall 99% of the time. Thomas has it. He has 21 points from the floor. Passes. They work it in. Went in for the layup, but it's off the mark by Malone. Elijah Wan brings it up. He's one out of his last six from the floor. Inside pass. Leaves the ground. Elijah Wan made sure he wasn't coming away empty handed by throwing it down. Thomas passes. Thomas has the ball. He's shooting 71% from the arc. Rod, here's the second look. Jordan isn't going to flinch away from any contact. Rod, a lot of players around the league are afraid of being tagged with that soft label. But he keeps making plays like that. He won't ever have to worry about anyone saying that. He completes the three-point play. Chambers inbounds the ball. Johnson is at the controls. He has four points from the paint. Passes it. Received by Worthy. Seven seconds to shoot. Launches from beyond the arc. Not this time. He's got his rebounding fundamentals down, Bobby. He sure does, Roddy. He anticipates where the ball is going to go, boxes out, and then cleans up. Goes with the fadeaway. Sinks it and now has 15. Back. He just has a nose for the ball, Bob. Amazing instinct. It's instinct and desire, Rod. He just wants the ball more than anyone else. Takes a quick shot. I think his 24th point this game. Elijah Watt with the inbound. Thomas comes clean right off that pick, and it was pretty simple after that. Offense just doesn't get any more basic than that, but it works. Inside, Johnson works it up court. He's shooting 50% from the floor. We've just finished the third quarter. The score, 53 to 36. Pick him up. Passes, elevates. Watches the lay-in. Oh, that was a grueling battle for possession. But he fought just a little bit harder and prevailed. That's how you play the physical basketball game. Bird on the mark. He now has 17. This is when you want to have the lead. Right here in the fourth quarter, where it all counts. Make the other guys start to sweat for a change. From inside. Yes. Worthy. That was one of those where the coach was saying, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. He's lucky that one went in. Thomas heads up court. He's five out of his last six from the arc. The ball's loose. West ball. Chambers throws it in. Johnson dishes it off. Worthy shoots from just inside the line. Bounces it off the left rim, then in. 
that's court vision right there, Bob. To be able to see the outside man like that and make the assist is what makes a good player great. Thomas with a three-pointer here. He'll have a total of six from beyond the arc. The jumper was buried by Bird. Bird didn't like what he saw there at first, so he gives a little pump fake to get a better look. It works like a charm here, too. And after the fake, just lines up for the J and drops it in, Rod. Passes it. Drexler now has it. Shoots off the inbound. Gets the far iron, but it goes in. Now that's a guy that can light it up from out there. You have got to watch out for him. Thomas has it. He's five of seven from the arc. Thomas gets airborne. Gets his 26th point of the game. Worthy inbounds the ball. Johnson brings it up. He's three out of his last six from the floor. Pass caught by Drexler. Off the left rim and out by Drexler. Rebounded by Malone. He was up there on the glass and came away with the defensive rebound. That's good hustle. Kerr gets the bucket and his seventh point this quarter. He's got 22 total. Bob, if I were still coaching, I want a guy like this on my team. He's not just looking for his own shot. He wants to get his teammates involved. And that's how you win. Drexler from the arc. That's two from downtown. Jordan passes the ball. Shoots. Can't drop down his shot. Bird was playing the percentages there. He generally makes that shot, but not that possession. Bounce pass. Watch that move. Double, double. Fades away inside. Gets the bucket and his seventh point this quarter. He's got 22 total. A simple but effective pump fake gets him enough room to bury the J. That's a clever move. I figured you'd like this play, Rod. He just nails the shot after shaking his man loose with a nice pump fake. You figured me right, Bob. Call me old-fashioned, but a simple, effective move to get to the bucket? Who can't love that? Malone with the inbound. Thomas works it up court. He has 25 points from the floor. The defensive rebound by Elijah Wan. Jordan is usually deadly from that range, but the defense played him perfectly. Johnson has the rock. He's shooting 50% from the floor. The downtown shot was off the mark by Drexler. Thomas heads up court. He's shooting 71% from the arc. Pass right wing. Johnson comes away with his third pickpocket tonight. Johnson keeps finding a way to wrestle that ball loose. But my question is, when are they going to get a grip on the lead? Rod, we got to see that again. Excellent concentration here. Takes the jumper, gets hit, and still manages to drop in the bucket. Great play. He's going to the charity stripe for the possible three-point play. He completes the three-point play. Thomas yeah. has it. He's 10 of 12 from the floor. Passes. Got it away. Caught by Thomas. Bird throws it in. Puts it up off the inbound. About time, Can't defense. stop the run. That's a nice job fighting on the offensive boards. He couldn't stop the run there. And a miss by McHale. That shot didn't come off quite as plain. And the D was able to thwart it without much effort. Drexler makes the pass. Johnson shoots from the top of the key. Gets a cotton bounce off the back rim. Thomas brings it up. He's five out of his last six from the arc. Jordan with the ball. In low. Thomas takes a wide open shot. Drops it in. He's got 28. This is the NBA. You cannot let a shot go from here without challenging it. I agree, Rod. Doesn't matter who it is. At this level, everyone is capable of hitting that shot. Chambers inbounds the ball. Drexler shoots off the inbound, puts too much on it. Drexler has a first-rate mid-range game. Even though he missed that one, he has to keep taking that shot. Thomas passes. Line, line. Seven on the shot clock. 
He gets cut off by Johnson. Into the low post. Thomas makes a beautiful dish, and he's got seven assists. Well, they've won the physical game. Now they've got to play it smart and win the mental game. 45 seconds here in the game. Passes it. Drexler gets up. Thomas with a three-pointer here. He'll have a total of six from beyond the arc. Out on the left wing. Grabbed by Thomas. One, 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 one. Seven seconds to shoot. The J was defense. missed by Thomas. Rebounded by Elijah Wong. Johnson on this trip can get assist number 15. Drexler that loads from deep, deep three-point range. Gets right iron, no good. Good rebounding is so important to a team, and this guy is great. Oh, tell me about it, Rod. It comes down to limiting your opponent's shot opportunities as well as creating them for your own team. Thomas gets it right back after the block, and that'll do it. Your final score for tonight's game, 66 to 52, and that will finish it up for us. Be sure to tune into Sports Center to catch the latest news, scores, and highlights. Check your local listings for the correct time and channel. That's on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Thanks for joining us here at the ESPN Post Game Show. I'm Clark Dishman. The 80s East All Stars come away with a 14 point win over the 80s West All Stars. They look to be in good form as they prepare for the regular season. The 80s East All Stars fell in love with a three ball tonight and never abandoned it. They never passed on any of the open looks and did a great job of spreading out the floor to open up the three pointers. That was the key tonight. Isaiah Thomas ended up with a total of 28 points and seven assists. He will get our ESPN Player of the Game. What a player. And that's all we have for you tonight. Don't forget to tune into ESPN during the regular season for games, highlights, and analysis. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you then.